Hi guys, so we are filming our, what month is it? Our no November, November favorites, <laughs> woo! And we're doing it really early, so the video will be up on time this month, and it's not gonna cut off like it did last month. So I'm here with my roommate Miranda again, who's Hi. my favorites buddy. Check out our August and October favorites. We mm -hmm. did those together. And then here's Emily, who's like our honorary roommate. Mm -hmm. I did a makeup tutorial on her. She's here all the time. She's one of our friends. So yes. we're going to share our favorite beauty etc. products mm -hmm. of the month. So I think we're doing skincare first. So my favorite is this Ahava Time to Clear All-in-One Toning Cleanser. And this is just like a little um, ounce sample size. I honestly don't remember how I got this. It was probably like a Cyber Monday thing. But um, it's just really nice. It's like a cream. They call it like a toning milk. So you just put it on a cotton pad and wipe it all over your face. And I've been using this instead of my Clinique toner. And it's just so easy. And your face feels clean afterwards. You don't have to go out to the mm -hmm. sink to wash your face. And it's just two in one. And it's great. I have this uh, moisturizer by Alba Botanica. It's aloe and green tea. And it's fantastic. It's so light. It's a really small bottle. So yeah container so oh, you wanna smell it? oh it's awesome I'll describe the smell <laughs> it's kind of like pineapple you want to smell <laughs> it's nice and you can really find it anywhere I buy this at Walmart I think it's like $15 for the little thing with 15 you, well you think it's a lot but it lasts for I've had this this is like my third month using this it lasts forever you just put a little bit on and it's great and I have like oily and really dry skin so I feel like this works for all skin types and it's great. Yeah, I love it. Now moving on to face products. I have a few here. Um, the first I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is just a little sample size one. But I got this in a sort of sample 500 point perk thing from Sephora from Urban Decay. And I had used this before, but the one I had before, like the nozzle kind of was like clogging up so it didn't get an even spray but this one has like really even spray and I started using it again and it makes your makeup look amazing it, like if your foundation's a bit powdery yeah it makes it cakey, look dewy it looks makes it look dewy that's and, like, what I use mine skin, for it's so nice <laughs> and it makes your makeup last a long time that's true you guys made me buy that and I love it I have like the big one and it's oh really no you got you have chill Wait, oh do I have the chill oh well yeah, I think you have, you have all nighter well, I have oh. d-slick well, and I you have, have chill, chill. And it's, it's they're good. all good uh, my sort of foundation routine so far has been um my foundation I've been using is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation and I really like the packaging so pretty. <laughs> it's really nice packaging and what I like about this is that it gives a lot of coverage because like it's meant to cover like tattoos also and like severe acne and stuff. I use it but I like having like a flawless face so I like using this and also uh, the shade range goes light enough to suit my ghostly pale complexion <laughs> from like what not leaving do you the have room. It? it doesn't look like that light. Uh, I have it in uh, light 44 which I think is the lightest or second to lightest shade in mm -hmm. the range. This is what you get when you don't leave your room and are on Tumblr all day. You get ghostly <laughs> chaos. The concealer I've been using is the Makeup Forever Full Cover uh, Concealer. And it's really nice and it's really full coverage as well. Hence, full cover, the name. And it's really nice and it blends really easily and it's just an overall great concealer. I have a concealer favorite too. This one I've really been liking since... Um, like August and I somehow every single month forget to put it in my favorites. It's the L'Oreal Paris True Match um, Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. And it's literally just a little baby crayon. And I'm using it today. It's really good for like the under the eyes. It does crease though. It's, I forgot to put eye primer underneath my eyes before I put this on today so it's probably gonna crease. Um, just a heads up, and if you're ghostly pale and cool toned like myself, you would probably like it in N123 Fair Slash Light. It smells kind of weird, but it's just like blends so well, and it's really creamy, and it, it's not like dry and gross feeling, so I really like it. it covers well. By Rimmel, um, a fix and perfect primer, which I love. It's a tinted primer, and stop laughing at me. <laughs> um, I love it because it's tinted, so even I'm ghostly pale, like Miranda now. Yay! So it just gives me like a little tint, which I like. And then I have by Maybelline a Dream uh, Fresh BB Cream in their lightest setting, of course. Got color. Yeah. And I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it 
it as just a foundation because it's really sheer, it's really light, but as like a second primer, it works great. I agree. The BB cream works well as a primer. They work good together. She likes them. I, I love them together, and then mm -hmm. I have a concealer, and then like a, some sort of Maybelline like a powdered foundation. And they just there you go. In. And you like it better than the thirty dollars you spent on. Oh, what, what did I buy for thirty dollars? Was it the uh, Benefit Hello Oxygen I think, Foundation? Yeah, I think so. It's too yellowy for my skin, but I didn't realize it at the time. Aww. You can bring that back to Sephora. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right? Sephora I, has a really good return exchange, policy. Exchange. Exchange. I should. I should. We all have mascara favorites, so Woo! I'm going first. Um, my mascara favorite is from Rimmel London. And it's their new Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara. This is packaging. It's I like so it. It's so cute. It's very mod and cool. And the brush is kind of big and weird. Ooh. It looks like that. And it's like a. It's kind of like an hourglass figure, <laughs> like brush. And it's really good. My only like worry about this, uh, I'd go over it with like a non-clumpy mascara. Like I mm. use this along with my Clum Crusher, Crusher Extensions Mascara by CoverGirl. And it just makes your eyes so big and like, your lashes so long and dark and look so nice. And then we put the like the non clumpy mascara over it, just like ba bam, and it looks like you're wearing false <laughs> lashes and it's so nice. CVS is always sold out of that mascara. It's like really popular. I wanted to get it the other day, but they were Wait, out. Th and then my mascara favorite is um, by L'Oreal. It's the Voluminous Million Lashes Excess in this swanky stripey shiny <laughs> packaging. I have the original and it looks I'm in like love Vegas with it. It's in a tube. It does. Or like a stripper mascara? It looks like Christmas. If if mascaras were people, this would be a stripper. <laughs> but <laughs> I feel like there are other mascaras that would be strippers. Like a lot of the Maybelline <laughs> ones. But I really like the original of this, and then this came out, and I was like, I don't need that ten seconds later in my shopping cart. Anyways, mm -hmm. um this has kind of it's not that interesting of a brush. But it has like plastic bristles and it's kind of like a little pointy triangle at the top. I'm wearing it today with my CoverGirl Clump Crusher as well over it, except not the extensions one. And it's just, you could do your entire mascara look with just this one mm -hmm. mascara. Your lashes look really nice. Thank you. It makes them look kind of like wispy and like, mm -hmm. like not thick and clumpy, just kind of like, mm -hmm. I don't know, thin. It's just, it's, I, I love it. Try mm -hmm. it. Do it. Two mascaras. I have the Clump Crusher by CoverGirl, which is awesome. We all like that. Yes. We love yeah. that. Clump Brandon Crusher. L told me to get it. And it's so gray, and it has like a little. Mm -hmm. like, it's kind of like a curvy, little curvy brush. Oh, I'm gonna get a little curvy, closer. Curvy. And, and it's plastic. It is, oh. It's just gray, and my eyelashes do not clump at all. The name is true. And then I have, and, they, and Myrna also <laughs> told me, they're basically like my makeup gurus, they're awesome. Um, wow. Well. Clear, Great Lash, Maybelline, um, mascara, which I use for, to shape my eye, like, as brow gel, and also if I'm too lazy to put on mascara, I'll just have clear <laughs> mascara so I, like, look like I'm not wearing makeup, but I am. Yeah. And Shh. it's, and it's really great. I use that for my brows too, and I like that better than, like, the Anastasia brow gel I got once, and it was, like, 20 bucks. So that's like five. That's, yes. Yeah. Okay, so I have another eye product and it's the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo. Um, <gasps> Those uh, are the new Cream ones. shadow um, in nude pink. I and want that. Oh, wait, let me, let me it's, I want that. Oh, I want that. And it's like sort of like nudie pink, obviously. Ooh. Like taupe thing. Ooh. Uh, and <laughs> it kind of, I, it's sort of a bit darker, but. I feel like it's similar to like Painterly. It's like a, a rosy. It's like color. rosy. There's its swatch. What is that collection it's called? It's so nice. Uh, I'm not sure. I want to say it's like it had like gold in the name. I'm not sure exactly what the collection is, but mm -hmm. it's like the new collection from Color Tattoo for uh, Maybelline, and I really like it because they came out with like a uh, new natural like matte color tattoos. They came out with the cream shadows, and it's so nice. And I use it as my primer. And the shadows that I use over it stay on for so long, and it's just a really great product. And I think it's limited edition, and that makes me really sad. I want, uh. <laughs> so my eyeshadow favorite for this month is Max Pink Freeze, which is a frost. And I got this at the CCO. I'm pretty sure it's in the regular collection, though. Am I right? It's just a pretty, like, shimmery, rosy pink. It looks really pink in the pan. I'm actually wearing it as a lid color today over a 
pink shimmery ooh, color tattoo it just brightens up your eyes it doesn't look this pink on but it kind of gives you more color than wearing like a straight up champagne so it's a little more interesting and then my eyeliner favorite is the stila smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in angelfish and it's like a twist on a classic nude eyeliner shimmery champagne -y nude and it's really pretty and metallic and i wear it on my waterline and it's like it makes your eyes kind of glow in addition to making them look better, which is what nude eyeliners do. And I have a Maybelline Opal Lights palette. It's like a really pretty nude palette. It's great. It's a great nude palette. I really like it. And I have, let's see, Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen. And this is fantastic. I love it. It's so easy to apply. If you've never put on eyeliner before, I'd recommend a product like this. It's the only it's way so I buy eyeliner exactly. anymore. Exactly. No, it's great. It's I had that in gray and I hate it. I hate it in gray. No, that's I was about to say. I bought it in gray initially and it wears off super quickly. So yeah. 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 And Darn you, makeup by so, Tiffany and Day. It, and I bought it in brow too. Didn't like it. Get it in black. If you're going to do it, go black. Go black. Once you go never black, go back. you never go back. <laughs> so moving on to lip products, I have two. Um, one Wait, come is... this way. Come cuddle with me. We can't see you. Oh, sorry. Well, I think people prefer that. <laughs> um, my first is this lipstick, and it's from Too Faced. It's their La Creme line, and it's in the color Naked Dolly. And it's, like, one of my favorite lip colors, and it's, like, the perfect nude. Because, um, oh, like, pretty. it doesn't give you, like, those concealer lip kind of looks where it just blends in. And it's sort of like pinky, has like a hint of brown, but not too much. It's definitely more of a pinky nude. And it's swatch right there, and it looks so nice. And it's a good everyday color. <laughs> and then to give it more depth, um, oh. <laughs> my favorite lip liner that I've been using is uh, another Too Faced um, product, and it's their Perfect Lips Lip Liner. These are like the best lip liners I've ever used. They're like so Is that so like a little creamy. pencil grip? They have a gripper. Yeah, they have like a little pencil grip, so... You don't have to worry about like breaking. I've like, never used a lip liner. They look so scary to me. They're not anyway. scary. Scary on makeup. <laughs> and like it looks scary in comparison to like the lip color next to it. It looks a bit dark. There it is right there. That just makes your lips but look bigger. It makes your lips look bigger and it also makes them look more defined, hence lighting them to define them. There's like enough definition to them so my lips don't like blend into the rest of my face when I use this. And it's overall just a great lip combo, so this has been my lip combo for the month. And because Miranda accidentally bought that lipstick twice, we have another one to give away for you guys in the same color. Naked Dolly. This could be yours, so just make sure you're subscribed and what should we make the little minions do? I'll put in a text slide mm -hmm. telling y'all the rules. My lip favorite, there are oh so many, as you can tell I'm wearing crazy purple lips right now. Um, but the one I've been using so much this month is my Maybelline Baby Lips. And this is from the limited edition collection that came out last time around winter. It had like the Baby melon lips. and the mango ones, I think, and like twinkle and stuff. But this one is in Yummy Plummy and it's probably one of my favorites from that line. Even though that collection is my favorite they've ever done. It's like almost a scary brownie purpley looking color but it's kind of sheer it's really glossy and like i'll put Ooh, this on pretty. when i have new no other makeup on and it doesn't look weird but it kind of makes you look a little put together it's a little sparkly and shiny and it's also kind of a good dupe for the mac lipstick sweetie now that I look at it. Just very sheer and shiny in this kind of purpley pink color. Are those all of our favorites? Yeah, I also yeah. have a tea favorite and I used to do my K-Cup of the month but now I do my Thirsty Thursday blog post on my blog with my favorite K-Cups or teas every single week so I'll write about that later and y'all can check it out. We hope you guys enjoyed Yay. our friendship time. Aww. Aww. Don't touch me. <laughs> Leave us your comments down below. And, and subscribe to this lovely girl over here. Hey. Yay! <laughs> and maybe we'll do this next month. Just kidding, we'll be on vacation. Maybe we'll do this the month afterwards. Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Bye. Yeah. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> a lot of boom. Oh, we like the boob. Oh, yeah, it's a boob. treat for all of your adoring fans. <laughs> I delight to the sun. I have that in. Guys, it's easy. Get a camera. <laughs> Cause we're so thirsty. Cause it's Thursday. 